Alright, so in this one, we are going to be using the new Goku and Bardock tag unit here at their peak boss. Matter of fact, I actually did pull an extra copy. It did have them at 10 stars, now they're at 11 stars. Uh, just a little funny off-camera rotation there, just curious to see what happened, and well, pulled them. Uh, I have to glaze this, by the way. This is, if not the best alternate art of the game, to me, this is like a top three art overall. The shading on this, magnificent. I've never seen Legends cook so well on a character I wouldn't think is, you know, particularly the most hype, right? You know, it opens the door for, you know, cooler what-if characters, but this character is not, it's not the most hype thing. It's literally a sum animation in the game. We've known this will happen eventually, but that, that alternate art, gas. But this is their peak. It's interesting that they actually only have four X Zenkuff. Blue Pan giving Blue Sun Family. OG3 Ku is obviously Green Saiyan. Bardock and Namek are both Blue Saiyan as well. Again, you look at like Goku Frieza, who is the other tag unit that is two different colors, and they get like, you know, a billion Zenkuff, it seems like. And this one here, only four. It just, it just feels low, really. But nonetheless, it's still going to be a lot of damage, right? This unit. I mean, I ran them initially, and they were having no support on their team, and they had only Namek Goku bench just because it's so easy to Zenka buff, and tag units are quite literally made to be Zenka buff. That's why they are, you know, their stats are being lower, or this thing being a little bit, you know, worse off than that thing. They're meant to be Zenka buff. They are designed for that, just purposefully. And um, they only had one X, and they were just destroying everything. Well, yes, it is early season. Some teams might have lower stars, higher stars, whatever. Uh, they were still just decimating through everything and it was just whoa So them gonna be a 4x here with them having a support type and you know red pan as well as she gives HP So I figured why not run her right just kind of makes sense to me um, They're gonna cook everything alive. This unit gets to very high damage very easily They get a pretty easy manner of cover null right if you get a green card It's a lot easier if you don't you might struggle a little bit but considering the comparison of like Evo Kaioken which is part one to you know this unit here and then to beast the cover null i would say is easiest with this unit then it goes to beast then it goes to evil kaioken um you could argue beast technically because you know it's just allies take hits or like just take a combo but if you're going to be leading beast you know from there you're not going to be able to get the cover null right because you're not you know going to get caught most likely if you're going to do the combo so I would say out of the three, they do have the easiest situation. It's just that it doesn't last the longest. Theirs actually lasts the shortest. Five counts after landing two cards that are Striker Blast, and then five counts on green card for their cover null. Evil Cow can get it for what? 10 counts on green. Beast gets it for like 15 counts, 10 counts after he takes a card or his allies take a card. So while theirs is the easiest, it is also the shortest, but their damage output so fast is why that's the case because they hit so damn hard. Again, you know the Zenkos here, they got HP here as well. Equip-wise will be as follows. Obviously, there are going to be so many Zenkai buff that we're going to, you know, run double peers here. This one here, though, giving Strike Tech, Strike Tech, Strike Tech, Strike, strike Defense, Strike Defense there. This one here, giving Strike Defense, Strike Defense, uh, Pure Strike Tech there, because Full Sun Family. Then Blast Fence, then Pure Blast Tech there. Obviously, I'm just going to run Blue Pink. She's, like, the best out of the other characters here. Then this here being another peer, giving Strike Defense, Blast Fence, then Pure Strike there. 15% peak because all Sun Family. With that being said, let us see what the new LF Goku and Bardock at 11 stars in PvP, and I most likely will 14 stars character. Just saying, I've been getting very lucky on them. Why not fish them out? Let's see what they can do in PvP at uh, their peak Zenka buffs of power. She's yellow, yellow, blue. Okay. Well, that works. Cover and all, let's get it. Spam out two strikes. Beat the shit out of you here. Good luck, have fun. Oh, good God, that's way too much damage. Oh, that's even... <laughs> even more damage. Oh, boy. Yep. They hit hard.
thoughts, opinions, any anything. I know again, early season, you gotta you know, you know, sift through the rubble of lower stars. I, I'm here for that. I understand that. That's just a little bit, a little bit too much, in my humble opinion, of output. <laughs> okay, sure. Uni reps. Indeed it is. Alright. It's a little bit of a better team here. So they should be fine, alright? The opponent. My team will be fine. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you swap? Why did you swap? Why did you swap? <laughs> I guess I'll stay with Goku since, you know, it's hyper neutral instead of disadvantage. That'd be probably smarter. Not too sure about that. You're probably gonna swap out, so I'm gonna do my own. Oh, you're not swapping out. Okay, cool, no problem. We'll keep on cooking then, no problem for me. Jiren's still getting his ass beat. Should end combo right here. Then I have a green card. <laughs> okay, no problem. Mm-hmm. I assume a strike happens here. Three blast. Oh. Okay, you're lucky. Nice. Oh, you're done. Cool. Let's pop this. Sidestepping. That ain't good. It's good for me. It's not good for you. Uh, you're cooked. You're just you're just cooked at this point, aren't you? Swap. Okay. Still gonna hurt. Decently. Goodbye. <laughs> Even with 17 canceling my buffs that did basically half their health, and a lot of their buffs actually can be canceled, which is a dilemma, but like, is it really a full dilemma? I don't even know. Because you're gonna usually run this unit alongside Beast, and then whatever third you want. And it's like, does it matter too much? I don't, I don't think so. Oh, we tackled, really. You know what? You know, let this happen. You cook, you cook. I wanna get their mechanic. Hmm. Going? Can you even kill them? I guess you can't kill them. Okay, cool. No. Well, you fucked up there, didn't you, pal? Just a little bit. I would say so. Yeah, once they even get 10% Cuphead, you can just watch them start incinerating, which is hilarious to me. Literally, Goku from that first strike to that second strike, you can just notice the damage difference, and it's like, hello? What the fuck? Perfectly fine. No. There's that new mechanic! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what do you want me to say, bro? There's the new mechanic. Indestructible. Can't fucking kill them. They're indestructible, right? <laughs> oh, what a mechanic. Oh, what a fucking mechanic. Wow. Look at the health, by the way. Oh, I just keep them in, though. Doesn't even matter. Should live through this. Mm-hmm. It's even Jiren with the rush buffs and LS17 gauge. Oh, can you kill? That'd be nice for you. Oh, you could have killed. Almost. You don't, but like almost. Damn, a lot of cards. Should be done here. Doesn't mean much, because at this point you just have no vanish, so it's like you're caught. That's UD reps, by the way. Very good team. Fortunate. He thought I'd uh, sidestep out. There's no reason to sidestep out. <laughs> what does it matter if Pan dies here, you know? Goodbye. Even there, dude, it's like the color advantage exists. Because you have Evo Ken, right? Obviously, it advanced to Goku. And then you have Jiren, who's advanced to Bardock, and it still doesn't pull out. Jesus. <laughs> that gauge, man. You gotta play around it. They're not gauge, really, I guess. 
indestructible. I, I, I like to call it a gauge, just seems more simpler because it's like the health gauge literally just stays still, right? Your health does not move in that sequence. But you, you have to play around it. You can't just waste big moves like that. You can see it didn't do much. I mean, overall, they were at full health by almost the end of it. Not bad there. Not bad at all. Got fusions up in here. All right. That Pycon looks not much alive. Oh, okay. That UGB doesn't look much alive either. Oh, Lord, these HPs. They are not good. All right, cool. Decent. Good enough. We take that. Uh, no cover and all, so we'll go for the blast since he doesn't have blast cover change. I just thought he kind of let me have it. Sidestep. <laughs> that, was, that was a panic sidestep there. Unfortunately for my opponent. Oh my, really? My blue card? You dickhead. All right. Goodbye first life on PyCon. This is a very low star team we're up against here. I can just tell by those HPs. Barely 2 million insinuates a, uh, a very low start threshold. That is not good for you. I'm gonna save a green card here. Oh, you pre-clicked. That's not, that's not ideal. Definitely pre-clicked that. Why would you do that on purpose? Attack here. Okay. You're cooked. If there's any advice I give you to, uh, I guess, get off mid-range green cards very consistently, people always go for taps. It's just a thing people like love to do. Um. So the way to, uh, I guess, avoid taps is slowly back up. Just slowly drift backwards. Literally, that's it. If you slowly drift backwards, I just want to see the LF. Um, you can <laughs> get the uh, green card off in time. Or you could do, like, if they over tap, you could do even more stuff from there. You know. Just slowly back up. Not, you know, don't... I guess I'll show you. Like, you know how you could, like, force back up? Like, back dash? Don't do that. Just slowly back up to mid-range. They'll still be in the animation. Click that green card. Most likely you'll catch them. Uh, especially now with early season, right? But slowly, slowly, not slowly back up. Top of the green card. Most likely people are sidestepping after they click that. If not, they're doing a card. Anything in that sequence happens. If they're not ready to back up, they're getting caught because you have the animation uh, length being normal that you'll catch them out. But all this video is going to be is just me going, oh, okay, there's them again. And, you know, there's them again. I mean, good job, Goku Bardock. Uni reps, uh, I believe. Interesting. That's tragic for you. Hey, 50-50 time, what are you going to do? Surely you're swapping. There you go. First life gone. First life gone, all right. All right, I guess we'll continue on. You're letting me, so let's do it. Bardock being the ass of a purple unit here. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Look at this shit, bro. <laughs> that was Bardock there, by the way. Yeah. This unit's a little dumb. Their damage is just a little dumb. It's so exponential. It reminds me of, like, Goku Frieza on Featured Boost with their Glaze setup. But this team... Uh, well, they're Glazed. Don't, don't get me wrong. They're Glazed on the Zenkai buffs. They're not Glazed in support. You know, you had Pan Elefsa with Goku Frieza, right? And they had to ramp up a little bit because Goku is a ramp-up character. This unit also ramps up, but definitely not to the extent they need to. They are very much faster. Um, and it's like... Do you see that? It's a green. That's a green to a purple. I don't care about the Zenkos. I don't care what the defense is. It's a green to a purple. Bardock was about to kill Goku Frieza in, what, three to four cards? <laughs> they stack Cup Pen, have high as hell damage inflicted, and uh, while their stat spread is a little bit unfortunate, especially their blast defense being lower, especially because they have blast armor, uh, their damage, though, it's just... It reminds me of a Blue Beast Goku Frieza type of thing where it's just so fucking dumb how fast their damage is. But again, those setups are 1v3 glazing now this is also a glazing but without all these Zenkai buffs and maybe having a 1x or 2x consistently they're still doing around this amount of damage which that's a lot be on reps uh, all right 
It's an interesting setup. That's tragic for you. That's not good for you. <laughs> Surprised you uh, even swapped there. It's not like Pam was going to do any damage to you. Like this. Quite a bit of damage. <laughs> he panic swapped because he thought he was going to lose him there. Which honestly is valid. He didn't, but it's valid. Let's pop main. All I'm doing with this pan is just trying to get green cards, to be real with you. Because if they green card, then they could just infinite combo. That's why Pycon. That's annoying. That's why Pycon is very good with this character, because Pycon makes green cards very consistently as well, and he's actually a solid unit in his own right. Solid. Nothing crazy, but solid. This is whatever. Okay. Are you done? No point. Um, let's pop this. Okay, sidestep out. No shit. And I have my rush. So that's nice. Why would you even swap there? There's no purpose in that. Sidestepping. Should be dead, even if you do cancel my buff. Okay, I'm wrong. Understandable. Well, doesn't matter. Ambitious. Three cards. One was disadvantage. Oh, we actually went for a blast? What a crazy guy. Please, feel free to rush this unit here. I'd love for you to do it. I won't swap. I'll stay in. Because you can't kill them. Because they have, you know... <laughs> basically revival. Just with no animation. Yeah, so all this means nothing. That's the best part. Literally, all he's doing here means absolutely nothing. <laughs> this kind of gives me a Janemba vibe with them. Not not in the, you know, same situation, but the, the vibe of, like, I can just be here, do absolutely nothing, right? I can just stand there, do absolutely nothing. If there's a red unit like, up against them, or... I guess if there's a blue because I go into Bardock and he's green, if there's like a disadvantaged unit to either side of Goku or Bardock and I don't have my gauge popped, I can just stand still and make them over aggress. And then from there, they can't kill me. They can't rush me because he tries to rush there. Okay, get the rush off. I don't care. I could literally play out of my brain stupid as shit. He tries to rush me there. I go a full screen strike. He lands his rush. I don't die. We, we live, we revive, basically. We, we get our pseudo-revive off, and then we just continue on like it didn't even happen. And it's just... It's like Janemba's gauge with everyone scared of it. People can't do something that they want to do, which would be rush here. Then people can't, or they are scared, of doing strikes or dash or blue cards against Janemba, so they don't do it. And that's a... Oh. They actually give that kind of sequence, huh? That's toxic. That, that's super toxic. Uh, AoE green card is toxic, but th that, that's actually really toxic. Okay. <laughs> Woo, this unit. Good luck with them. They're going to be annoying as hell. Green, green, red? Okay. That's interesting. Well. Why would you go to Beast? Why would you full screen str Okay. Not sure what's going on here. Something's going on. He stayed in! Alright, interesting plays. <laughs> they got your unit killed, but interesting play, I guess. Mid-range strike. Interesting again. Everything you're doing is definitely interesting. Don't deny that. Am I rushing? Yes, I do. All right. Well, you're dead unless you want to swap for some reason. Great. Uh, I, mean, I just rush anybody. I just kind of, I won't say I win, but like definitely a lot easier. 
Oh, it looks like he was gonna sidestep, but then it like stopped him? That was awkward as hell. Cool. Uh-huh. Well, let's just swap because I'm disadvantaged. Should have a rush considering you've done almost nothing the entire match, but you know, Legends could be a funny guy and feed it to you for some reason. Okay, you done? Oh, we have a green card there. Oh, we're lucky. Congrats. Sure. Great. <clears throat> In swap. Why wouldn't you swap? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Not sure why I gave up Beast Gohan so easily. Bro did not want him to live. He was like, all right. Just, just throw him away, bro. We, he's got a blue. I don't need him anymore. Should have brought God Topo, to be real with you. Could just get some snipe potential on those burst blasts. The note. Green, green, red. Yeah. This unit does not care, bro. Like, with the Zenkai buffs, of course, they don't care. But, like, even without, you'll see them just hit so fucking incredibly hard so fast. Like, you see units hit hard when it's like, okay, Beast is transformed. Janemba has some buildup going. This unit does, like, two cards. They're hidden like astronomically high compared to most of the units in the game. Again, later situations like Goku Frieza. Okay, Goku ramped up, Frieza comes in, boom, big damage. Beast go on, you know, we get into Beast and all that stuff, boom, big damage. But like overall cards, just generally the, throughout the entire match, this is the unit that does that. Like I've been hoping for a unit that does those very good, you know, like initial entry, you know, maybe one to two cards, but like then after that, they're just perfect. They just hit hard as shit. Because we have a lot of ramp up units right now, right? A little slower. That's why the meta's a little slower. You're not really, you know, doing too much in early game setting and everyone heals a million. This unit though, while everyone does heal a million, they're hitting hard as shit, which is like, it's good because again, initial entry units on damage with like a Beast Gohan or a Tag Fours or something like those doesn't really exist. And now this unit, this unit is that. here I believe indeed it is okay <sighs> legends very obnoxious legends very obnoxious speed him a green guard Nice one. Truly nice one. Omen. I don't think he's dead. He is. Never mind. Glad to be wrong. Fantastic play, man. Okay. Okay. All blast. Another? Okay. <laughs> uh huh. I swapped, but okay.
<laughs> Nine more years to go! God damn, this unit's annoying. <laughs> oh. Fucking Christ, Evo Kaioken is annoying. Jesus. You lose! <laughs> Holy hell! <laughs> Who designed the infinite combos, bro? They're just so fucking long! <laughs> Could've fell asleep back there. God damn, man. <laughs> it just goes on and on, huh? <laughs> Regardless. Double advantage. Bardock and Goku still prevail. Shocking, right? This will be a pain, won't it? Okay. Good start, at least. All right, yeah, Janemba's gonna be uh, a problem, say at least. I mean, not here. You know, eventually it will be, though. More type advantage, so we're fine here. Obviously, can have some durability in a sense with a tag unit. TV, please. Nope. This is uh, ultra laggy. All right, not really my cup of tea, but uh, well, here we are. Mm hmm. Swap. No, okay, cool. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, sure. Do you have more cards? You do. That's good. i just rather Red Pan not take that. That's a lot. Good for you. Uh, okay. Okay. Swap. It'd be not the right swap to do. Okay. He has a blue card? Good for you. Kill? Probably. Definitely. Fantastic. Okay, blue, green, blue, green. Not sure about that mid-range strike there, but alright. Alright. <laughs> yeah, Dilemma for you, you can't rush me. I mean, you can, but you'll just waste it because you'll just pop my indestructible. And then from there, good luck, have fun. So I literally just have to catch him, and then I win. And he has to catch me twice, three times, basically now, because I have the sub counts. And then I win. That's fun. Didn't expect a blue card. Oh, you have more key. That's cool, I guess. You have more key. How do you have... Am I missing something? I guess I am. Sure. Do your blue card, please. Oh, you have more cards. That's nice. You have more key. I have to be missing something in this guy's kit, right? For him to have infinite key right now. I'm honestly very humored by this. I don't think anything else could make me laugh more internally. I'm sidestepping the entire time. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Good play though. Good plays. Infinite key. He's never heard of key reduction. This is genuinely hilarious to me. Let's go for a rush. Psst. 
great. I don't know how Piccolo just had about six trillion key, if I counted correctly. Uh, maybe I'm a little bit off on that number, but it looked like about six trillion key there. Uh, very surprised Piccolo could do that and then die in three cards. Yeah, uh, that was cool. Let's just get to one more and wrap it up. I did know Piccolo... <laughs> shit, who knew, bro? Who knew? Key reduction don't mean shit to Piccolo. He's immune, I guess. match up against P.O., I think, kind of, sort of. Okay. Okay. That sucks. Swap here? You want to waste the gauge? You go waste that gauge, buddy. It'll have no effect at this point, because I could just heal it all off anyways. But you do you. Could PV into a kill here, which would be cool. Or not. It's gonna PV fish? Let's, let's go fishing, I guess. Blue card, right? Ah, <sighs> feeding, feeding, feeding. Try your hardest to keep them all alive, buddy. One down, sorry. Blue card, green card. Oh, this is hilarious. You lose, man. You lose. This shit's over. Yeah, it's been over. But it's over, over. It's been over. <laughs> Overall, Goku and Bardock. I keep wanting to say Goku and Frieza because you never, you know, think of Goku and Bardock as an actual unit in the game that's going to actually happen. And now it is. That's like, the fuck? This is weird. We're going to see that a lot in more recent times. I feel like we're going to be like, you know, this uh, Vegeta and, um, I don't know, Vegeta and Trunks, Vegeta and Goku. And then you're going to see like a, a Vegeta and like Gohan and Krillin on Namek. I fucking hope so. And then it's like, oh, Vegeta and Krillin tag unit. It's like, what the fuck? Trio unit. It's like, ah, what the fuck? Well, it's going to be more reality soon. But overall... There's their Zenkai buff setup. There's their peak setup. Other Zenkai buff setup. Not much difference from this star team, 14 stars, to be real with you, because they're getting basically everything. If not just the uh, Z ability changes, but you know the big star gap is nine stars, and we are 11 stars, so kind of surpassing that. Overall, let me know what I think of them, and I'll see you guys in the next one.